One of the more common questions I'm getting from viewers now is how do I get that first layer perfect? How do I get it to stick to the bed? I've leveled it, done everything, but I just can't get that print to stick. It bubbles up, it doesn't hold. Well, there are some settings in Cura that will help, and there's also one trick. Let me explain it all on today's Film of Friday. Film of Friday is brought to you thanks to the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. Here's a close-up of a very good first layer. Nice and smooth, everything's sticking. This is what you want. Instead, you're getting this. Spots are popping up, corners aren't holding, or maybe the edges aren't blending together properly. Can you fix this in slicing? There's definitely things you can do. The first thing I do when I'm having trouble is I bump the temperatures. The printing temperature goes up about five degrees, and if I'm a glass bed, I'll bump it 10 degrees to like 215 for that first layer. Another setting is under quality. Scroll to the bottom and you'll see initial layer line width. Typically I have this 100%, but if you bump it to say 115 or 125%, it'll squish down a little more and maybe stick better. Another setting that sometimes helps is under walls. You print the outer walls before the inner walls, and you do that just by checking this box. One of the more important settings is speed. Slow down that first layer, and you can set that separately under the speed menu. Initial layer speed, I set it to 20 millimeters per second when I want to really stick and slow down the travel to 35. This will really help. I sliced the cube with those settings and let's look at that first layer. You can see the outer wall is first and it works its way in and then does the infill. So if everything's right, this should help my print. But there's one more thing I like to do. And that's under the top and bottom menu. I like to scroll down to that initial pattern. I like to make it a concentric, and then I like to connect it using the connect top and bottom polygons. If you check that, this thing continues to spiral around and never stops, just like spiral mode when you're doing a vase. So first it'll spiral out to the outside and then come in between those and connect. And you notice it's never stopping, it's constantly moving. Sometimes this really helps. And here's the results of all those changes. Came out very, very smooth. But even after doing all that, you may still not be getting the results you want. Now you may be asking yourself, why is it only certain spots that pop up, not the whole thing? Well, the answer is right here, in your fingers. These glass beds and this material is very, very sensitive to the oil in your skin. As soon as you touch to remove a print or adjust something or touch it in any way, you're leaving oil on the bed. And if you don't get that off, that filament will not stick in those spots. So for example, look at this one. Only part of it is sticking up, only here at the bottom. If I remove that print and zoom in, look at these spots. These are spots of oil from my fingers. They're preventing the filament from sticking. The easiest way to fix this is to clean your bed before every print with some isopropyl alcohol. You just spray this stuff on and then wipe it. I use a paper towel and just wipe it clean. And you can feel it'll get dry and rough as you're rubbing, so you know you're getting it clean. And then start your print. Here's a box I designed to hold my isopropyl alcohol to my printer. Designed it in Tinkercad, brought it into Cura, and I'm going to slice this with some supports to support those pins that are going to slide into the 4040 rail. But look at this first layer. Nice and smooth. It's sticking everywhere because I cleaned the bed. I let the bed cool and this thing popped right off, but let's look at the bottom. Look at this, smooth, everything's stuck. This is a near perfect first layer because I cleaned the bed. Now the fun part, removing the supports. This bottom one popped right off, but this one in between the two pieces is kind of trapped. Took a little bit of effort, but I got it off. So now let's install it. I pull the end cap off my Ender 3 V2. I'm going to slide it onto the 4040 rail. This goes in right behind the LCD put the cap back on, and now I always have my isopropyl alcohol right there for me, ready to use whenever I want to do a print. This is designed to fit a 10 ounce bottle of spray, so if you want to print it out, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. I hope this helps you get those perfect first layers in your 3D prints. Let me know how it works in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up, and if nothing else, click on that CHEP logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.